Well, Adam, I am here with the brand new seat for Board of Trustees District 5, Mr. Rick Jones. Mr. Rick Jones, you haven't, you won an upset victory. How does it feel to, you know, be in this seat now? It feels great. The, the people of Victoria have spoken. They want some changes made to the school district and I'm ready to work with the school board and make those changes happen. Okay, um, so my thing is a lot of people, a lot of people run for this position because they have children in the school district. They have ties to the school district. You don't necessarily have no, those no. ties. Can you tell me why it was important for you to run for this position? I do work with kids a lot at the church and I can see the effect of educational issues with those kids. Also, when I worked at the plant, I interviewed a lot of potential operators and mechanics out there, and you could see the issues that they would have with reading, writing, and arithmetic. And it just felt to me like a school district is letting our kids down. And I know we can do better for the kids. That's our future. You know, there's a lot of issues going on with uh, school, as in school safety, uh, issues with gun violence. We have issues with just a lot of stuff going on, teacher shortages, stuff like that. Uh, one issue we deal with here is the anti-LGBT stuff going on in school. Do you feel like there's a place for LGBT in education? I feel that that relationship, that discussion needs to happen between the parent and the student. That is, that is a personal issue. The parent should have that discussion. The school board, the school should not be involved in that thing. It should be between the parent and the student. And also we had a, a we've seen a scandalous article come out uh, with your name involved. Can you just tell us your side and tell us just alleviate public fears about what's going on in that article. Certainly, that, that article was full of false accusations. There's not one shred of evidence offered because there is none. The uh, article uh, had f a lot of uh, false accusations. Fortunately, the people of Victoria saw through the smoke and they were able to vote for the truth. Okay, and as you say the truth, your truth is back to basic, basics. You said it several times, yes. back to basics. Can you explain to me what back to basics actually means for our students? It means teaching our children how to read write and do arithmetic. There's a high percentage of students today that after they graduate, they still need to go to remedial reading and remedial math to get to college classes. We should be able to do better than that for our kids when they come out of college, out of high school. They don't need to take remedial classes if you've taught them right. So that's what I'm talking about, teaching them how to read, write, and do arithmetic. Okay, and you heard it here first, folks, from the new District 5 mm -hmm. seat, Mr. Sounds Rick good, Jones. It? Yes, sir, it does. Back to y'all in the studio reporting live. I'm Adarius McCormick here with Mr. Rick Jones, KAVU-TV 25 News Now.